Hello, my name is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to talk to you about the Azon Post Images plugin for WordPress. This is a plugin for bloggers who use WordPress and who are also Amazon affiliates. This plugin will let you insert Amazon affiliate links and images into your WordPress posts easily so that you can better link to your Amazon affiliate products and increase the click through ratings and get more sales of your Amazon affiliate products. I'm going to show you how to install, configure, and then start using the Azon Post Images plugin so you can start earning more from your Amazon affiliate account. To get started, go ahead and purchase the Azon Post Images plugin. You can find the link somewhere in the description near this video, and the plugin is very reasonably priced considering the features that you get. After you purchase the plugin and download it to your hard drive, you'll have the option to upload and install it into WordPress as a plugin. To do this, you simply go into your WordPress dashboard, you hover over plugins, you click on Add New. Here you're going to click on the Upload button, and you're going to browse for the new plugin that you just downloaded and purchased. And look in WordPress plugins, and Azon Post Images. Again, the file is called azonpostimages.zip. Open it up, click on Install Now. After you install it, go ahead and activate your Azon Post Images plugin. Now the plugin is activated and you need to first configure it before you start using it. You can just click on the settings here next to Azon Post Images or you could also go into your WordPress settings where you'll see Azon Post Images right here as well to get to the settings. The first thing you'll see when you arrive on the settings page is the API credentials and they will be blank by default. You're going to have to set up your access key and secret access key in Amazon. You should already have an Amazon affiliate account. If you don't, you'll have to sign up for one and then come back to this step. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the AWS account management link. You will sign into your Amazon Web Services account, which is the same email and password as your Amazon affiliate account. And right on this page, you'll have access to your access credentials. You'll see your access key and your secret access key if you have one created already. If you don't, you will have to create a new set to use with this blog. So the first thing you want to do is you want to copy your access key from here and then go ahead and put it into the access key ID configurations. Then you want to go back to the web services, show your secret access key, make sure you select the entire string, copy it, Go back into your Azon Post Images settings and then paste your access key into that field as well. Obviously, the access key and the secret access key are sensitive, so I have them shaded in the video, but you can see that what I was doing by doing the steps there, and you should see the correct access key and secret access key. So for now, what I would do is I would just save changes up at the top here just to commit these changes, and then we could proceed on with the rest of the configuration. So after configuring the API with your access key and secret access key, if you scroll down, you'll see the search interface. This is basically the default configuration for the search box that appears in your WordPress post editor. You want to choose your default locale. This is going to be the Amazon store that's closest to either your location or your visitor's location. That way you default insert affiliate links for images for that Amazon store or links for that Amazon store. This could be, of course, United States, Canada, China, Germany, Spain, Italy, Japan, United Kingdom. Choose the appropriate Amazon store where you get the most traffic for your blog. If 70% of your blog traffic comes from the US, use the US Amazon store. If 60% of your blog traffic comes from the UK, use the UK Amazon store. Again, sign up for the Amazon affiliate account where most of your traffic it comes from this will increase the sales because they'll be sent to their local Amazon store by default next is the default search index this is basically which category of products do you want to default the search to and this is in the post editor I always leave all unless you run a specific blog and you never want to search other categories like you can lock it down to DVDs if you run a DVD review blog or something like that I leave this all because you can also restrict the search index inside the post editor itself so that you only search the category you want so I wouldn't restrict the search in the actual settings for the plugin the next is where do you want to enable Azon post images you can enable in WordPress posts or pages by default those are enabled if you also use a plugin to allow live blog journal entries you can also enable the Azon post images to show the short code and then show the Amazon affiliate boxes in your live WordPress posts or any customized post types you have for your blog as well 
After you've configured the search interface to the way you want it, it's time to set up your Amazon associate tags. Now, you can only use one if you just want to use one local Amazon store, but it's recommended you sign up for every single one of these Amazon affiliates. Some of the European ones you could sign up once and it applies to multiple. Like if you sign up once for United Kingdom, it can apply to France, Italy, Spain, and Germany, and it kind of like sets them all up at the same time. But United States, China, Canada, those have to be set up separately. But take the time to set up Amazon affiliates for all of them. And then what you want to do is go find your tracking ID that you set up or set up a tracking ID for each one. Again, you can click the sign up link and the sign up link will take you how to sign up for each Amazon associate. In Amazon associates to get your tracking ID, just log in and you can see your tracking ID over at the top left. You can also create a new one if you want specific to your blog. So just make sure you enter your tracking ID for each specific Amazon associate and what it is and enter it for all your blogs. That way you can get the credit, you can get the affiliate referrals for each Amazon a store that exists. Now remember, the plugin will automatically show the Amazon store for the Amazon store closest to the user's IP address. So if you use the United States Amazon store by default, but the user's coming from a UK IP address, it will show them the link for that product in the Amazon UK store if it finds a matching ASIN for that product there. This means that when they purchase it or they click on Amazon, they'll go to their local Amazon store, increases their odds of, of purchasing the product, and it sets the tracking cookie because they're buying it locally. They don't have the shipping cost. They're not buying it from you know an international location that requires extra shipping. So this is a really good feature of the plugin. Take advantage of the localization of the Amazon affiliate. Finally, the last thing you can configure in the Amazon Post Images is for the affiliate links is just whether or not you want them to pop open in a new window. I highly recommend you do pop them open in a new window because that way it doesn't replace your existing blog uh, page that they were on and they could come back to it after they close out of their store transaction. So that would just be my recommendation. After you set all that up, click on Save Changes and you're ready to use the Azon Post Images plugin. Now that you've configured your Azon Post Images, it's time to start writing articles and adding your Amazon affiliate links and images into your articles easily and automatically. So I have two sample articles. The first one is, let's say I do a post about Guild Wars 2 expansion pack coming soon, Lost Shores. So what I do is I write my article, I have it all written and ready to go, and I'm ready to start uh, Amazon affiliate linking it. To do this, let's start with adding a link. The first thing I want to do is select, say, the keyword Guild Wars 2 right here, and I want to make that an Amazon affiliate link. So I would go down to Amazon Post Images. Now you have a separate editor post box. Type in Guild Wars 2. Click Search Amazon. And here you'll see it shows you all the products that match the keywords you searched for. Click on Text Link. Again, you could choose the uh, text link you want to use for the link to your Amazon affiliate. Click on Insert Short Code. Then you'll see up on the top here, the short code will be a link to the ASIN, which is the, the product ID in Amazon. It uses the local of US, which is again the default. And then it shows you Guild Wars 2 has made the link. And then that's the closing of the short code tag. The next thing I want to do is possibly create an Amazon image that links to the product on Amazon. So you would click on image link as well down here. This pops up a window where you could select the alignment of your image. I usually do center typically. And that's I do a small image and I want the text to wrap around it. Then I would do left or right. You pick the size of the image. Again, I think for most posts you'll have standard default sizes. Sometimes the size is larger than the post editor. In that case, either size it lower or manually size it. Select large here, insert short code and you'll see my short code for the image is inserted here as well. So I could save my draft and preview it, which I always recommend you do before you publish something live. You want to make sure things work. So let's preview the post and see how it looks. So here we have the post editor, and you can see it has my link to the Amazon affiliate product. If I click on it, it opens up Amazon.com with Guild Wars 2, and my affiliate referral tag is in there. So if anybody adds it to the cart, I will get the referral commission and also because it sets the Amazon cookie for 24 hours if the user purchases anything on Amazon within 24 hours you get the referral commission from all cross sales as well that's one of the huge benefits of the Amazon affiliate program you could also go back and confirm that the Guild Wars image also links to the same thing and you saw how easy that was that just allowed me to instantly insert an image also I don't have to go around finding and cut and pasting images and sizing them for my article I could just instantly insert them from Amazon now, my second example, I'm going to show you how to do this for a poetry blog, which you wouldn't think, why would you Amazon affiliate a poetry blog? 
but I'll show you an example. So I have a problem called Pressing Onward, which is a war poem. So I think, what if I want to add a nice image, a visually appealing images to the poem that might be attractive? So I might do a search for something like war poster, right? And you can include posters and images of anything, artworks that are for sale on Amazon. So let's say I want to look for a war poster, and I want to find something that, that fits. In this case, I didn't yet, so I'll do a soldier poster. And see if I find something that fits or matches what I'm looking for, kind of. So when searching for posters and prints, sometimes it's good to narrow down the search index to miscellaneous right here. And I found something that could work. Uh, let's say I want to see what this one looks like before I insert it. So I'll highlight it and see how this looks. That could be something a little comical uh, if I want to do something like that. Or let's see how this one looks. That could be something that's appealing as well. So you basically find the right image you want. Or you can actually directly search on Amazon yourself if it's faster for you for certain posts and prints. Like I searched on Amazon, I think this one would be a good fit for the poem. You see, it looks like a Civil War soldier standing alone, which is kind of like the theme of the poem. So select the ASIN, which is just the uh, top here in the URL. And you can go back and just insert the ASIN. That way you can search for it directly and save time. Click on Image Link, Center, Insert Short Code, Save the Draft. And then go ahead and preview your post. And you can see you add a little bit of uh, flair by adding a visual image on top of the poem. And if somebody's interested in the image, they want to learn more, hover over and click on it, it could lead for them to buy that poster or print from Amazon, which again could lead to Amazon affiliate sales. So sometimes posters or prints take a little more extra work to search for for poetry. But generally, if you have a specific product name, you find it right away in the search editor here in the Amazon Post Images Amazon search. It's only if you're looking for something more creative and you don't have a specific product and you're kind of like blanket searching, then occasionally it's faster to search the Amazon store, find the ASIN number, then post it here and search for it. Uh, in general, though, I find that's less often. So this is how you use the Amazon Post Images to insert links and or Amazon affiliate images into your WordPress post. This way you can increase the click-through rating and possibly increase your Amazon affiliate sales and help boost up your earned income from Amazon affiliate. If you have any questions about the program, don't hesitate to send me an email. Contact me at dragonblogger.com. One other thing, I want to tell you about Easy Azon. So this is the light version of Easy Azon. Azon Post Images is the light version. You could always choose to upgrade later on, or you could purchase Easy Azon off the bat and bypass the Azon Post Images as it's more featured. In Easy Azon, it unlocks additional affiliate link options in the settings, such as enabling product preview pop-ups. That means when a user hovers over the image or the link, it will actually show a little pop-up that previews the uh, product. You can also include the nofollow element to the link so that it has a nofollow link out. You can add to cart so that way when the user clicks on it, they automatically have the product added to the cart. You can cloak the links, which really isn't cloaking. It basically is just making the link fancy so that it looks like it's your own URL instead of a direct link to Amazon. And also other features. Easy Amazon also lets you include an info box, which is basically an information box, which includes a small image of the product, a description, the title, and the price of the product, all in one nice, easy info box, and a call to action button, such as buy now or things like that. So there's only a, little, a few extra features and functionality. But they, they can be worth it if you want to upgrade later or you want to purchase Easy Azon. So Easy Azon is more powerful, but it's also more than 10 times the price of Azon Post Images. For $3.95, Azon Post Images gives you an amazing price and amazing value for the price. But I also res recommend Easy Azon if you want the full functionality, you want to be able to do the info boxes, the call to actions, the popover previews. Easy Azon is a plugin for that. I gave you the option in the link to both here so you could choose which one you prefer. Again, if you have any questions or want to know more about Azon Post Images or Easy Azon, send me a link. Contact me at dragonblogger.com. Thank you for watching.